Yar, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate. I'm your host, Captain Ripped Rick. And today, I have a new mod to show you guys. Now, it's pretty cool, but obviously we need to do some maintenance stuff first before, I, before we really get into it. And as you can see, we've had some trees grow. I also went ahead and went and picked up some more saplings. Oh, sweet, so we got some oak going, too. Uh, we should actually do that first. Do I have a... No, I don't have an uh, pickaxe or an axe just in general. Uh, so we'll just grab this. Let's go, let's go do that right away, and then we'll pick up the saplings here in a minute. Um, and that way, uh, we will we will just start our tree farm a little bit more, a little bit more. Like I said, it will proceed and proceed, and eventually we'll have a big enough tree farm that I won't even have to show you guys me cutting down trees anymore, which would be nice. Um, but that's not where we are yet. Uh, let's go ahead and go inside downstairs here. Close the door. And we'll check on our orberry bushes. Make sure there's no mobs in here. We are on a uh, difficulty setting, right? Yes, we are. Good. Just making sure because, you know, I, I have made those mistakes before. Um, now, like I said, I have installed a new mod. It was a little bit of a pain. I kind of had to go into the configs and, and mess around with some stuff. But I'm happy how it ended up. So... And there we go. And so I just wanted to get that. The other ones are not super important. And like I said, we're just going to harvest these. And we're actually going to save them. Now, we're going to save these a different way. I think it will work um, with other mods, the, the mod I ha I just installed. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. I, we want to stay down here. That's right. Because we have our flax. Uh, our flax oh, gold. Gold. Oh, so, so nice. Anyway, so, sorry for getting distracted. So we have our flax seeds over here, and our flax seeds, uh, or our flax plants now, have grown. So let's go ahead and break that, and how much did we get? We got three pieces of, of string. Did I already have that? No, I don't think so. Awesome, we'll just replant, and then I think we just, we just keep cutting off the tops. I don't think we have to do anything to the bottoms. So we'll just leave it, and then we'll let that, we'll let that keep going. Um, we have food. We have this. Oh man, we are looking. We are looking more and more like pirates every day. We're getting closer and closer to uh, getting all set up. And let's go ahead and hang out here for a second, and we'll throw these guys in. Now I think it takes three to make the rope, if I remember correctly. I probably don't though, because that happens a lot. Oh, it does. Sweet. Okay, so now we have two bundles of rope. Remember, like I said, in order to uh, search into that mod a little bit more, uh, we're going to need quite a bit more. That's why we installed the flax mod. But our next step, I think we have enough. Yeah, we do. We have enough of everything. Uh, let's go ahead and, first of all, we need to make, uh, we'll just make two for now. Uh, two of what I want to make. I know it's fake, but it, two of this new mod. The new mod is called the Jabba mod. Now, J-A-B-B-A. And it stands for just uh, another barrel. Oh, no, just another better barrel attempt, I believe. Give me a second. That is correct. It's just another better barrel attempt. Yeah. And so, yeah. And so, uh, it is a barrels mod. So, what we need to do in order to craft this barrel... We need to take oak wood, or any type of wood, really. Any log. Oh, wait. I, I already messed it up. Okay. You gotta make, you gotta make plant, you gotta make uh, slabs first, right? You need one slab per barrel. So I'll put two here. And then we will surround this like this. Hopefully we have enough for two. No, we don't. We're one log short. That's okay. But see, and then you put this in here. And then boom, you get a butter barrel. Oh, I dropped that. So we'll, we'll keep that in our inventory for now. Let's go ahead and go out here and go pick up that those saplings and hopefully replant them. I, I, I remember last time we I completely forgot about it, so I'm trying to remember the be as best as I can this time. There we go. Nice. Now those are going to go ahead and grow nice and beautifully. Oh, we have another one here. Let's just go ahead and take this down so that we will have enough wood to do a second barrel. Nice. So yeah, uh, as you guys see, I started a new schedule uh, with with this episode. I will currently be releasing Pixel Pirates on the Fridays. Fridays will be Pixel Pirate Day. Um, from now on, at least, until until further notice. 
Hope you guys like it. I enjoy Fridays. Fridays are awesome, and I really like this series, so I think they fit well. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and place a better barrel. We're gonna go downstairs and do it though. Now, better barrels they can hold stacks of items. So I believe that this drippy water. Um, I believe that this holds up to 64 stacks of 64. Right. So let's go ahead and drop this now in order to put it in you right click in order to put in a, the stack in your hand or you shift right click to put in individual ones like that see oh wait if i shift right click lol i eat the berries okay so that doesn't work with those but see now now it displays ex exactly how many we have up across the top and then it will if if we have more than a stack it'll say 64 times one or 64 times 2 depending on how many stacks we have I think it will be like 64 times 1 or st if there's two stacks plus like another 30 it'll be 64 times 2 plus 30 it'll say at the top I, I know that that was kind of confusing but yeah that's how it works okay and then let's see if we have another material that really we have a lot of we have a lot of acacia wood but I don't really want to uh, lock all that up so We'll actually do it with cobblestone first here. We'll go ahead and test it. And then we're going to go ahead and put this barrel. Hmm. I think we're going to hide these barrels. We're going to put some in here. Because I don't think we're going to have too many. Because there's not going to be a, like, a lot of things that we're going to store a lot of. But there are there are going to be a few things. Like these. See? See, and see what I mean? It says times 164 plus 5. And that's exactly how many we have. We have 69 of those. And we're going to have more now. Boom. And then if we want to take a stack out, we just right click it again, I believe, or shift right click it. Nope, that locks it. Left click? Oh, it is left click. Okay. Left click takes out all of it. We're still learning. We're still learning. Right click puts it in. Shift left click takes out, looks like two at a time, you know, one at a time. But if you hold, if you hold it, it breaks it. Got it? Oh, oop, oop. But yeah, that's the that's the just another better barrels attempt, and honestly, I think I think it's it's gonna help us with our organization a little bit more, especially with things that we have like a, an excessive amount of. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and um, nice, nice. I I just I feel like I want I want more barrels. But I don't know exactly what I should store. Like I can store iron ore, but I don't know how efficient that'll be. Okay, we definitely need to do it for the other bushes, I guess, because we have enough stuff from the other bushes. So we'll go ahead and make and make a few more. After we go get those saplings, we gotta go check on that. I know we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing it because uh, that is. And I like the oak. I like the oak better than the acacia. Oh, sweet another apple. So yeah, like I was saying, I, I plan on adding like more, more and more mods to this. Uh, hopefully, I don't run into too many like conf config like uh, problems. I always say config like like they're separate words, but it's config like it's it's all one word. Um, hopefully, I don't run into any more problems like that because that would be really unfortunate. Um, especially because like obviously I want to put all these different mods together, and I think it's 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 like super cool if I can do that because then we can all play like this mod pack or, or whatever which which I am thinking about doing is making this a, a pirate mod pack there's a few more mods that I want to add um, yeah it, I don't know I just think it'd be really cool to like have like a whole mod pack based on it that's if you guys are interested Oh, and as well, uh, somebody in the comment section down below suggested that I put on too many items mod. Uh, actually, if I press O, you can see that I already have it or not enough items now. It used to be called too many items when it was like way back before they even had creative mode. Um, but yeah, I have it enabled. Uh, it tells me recipes of everything. I just keep it turned off. I think it looks a lot nicer without it on. Um, but yeah, now you know. Let's go ahead and create our... Oh, wait, we need... Oh, 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 oh. First, we need to create our chests. We need two chests, though. Oh, we'll just use this. Sorry. So, we'll make our one chest, and then we'll make another one out of the acacia wood. Nice. We got two, and then... 
Oh, we're still short on wood. Okay, we'll just grab it from, um... We'll grab it from over here. Oh, which one? Is this one? Okay. And we need seven pieces? Correct. Seven pieces, and then nice U-shape. And then one of these guys, and one of these guys. Nice. Okay, so now we have some more barrels. Let's go ahead and eat up. Now, remember last episode also? I believe it was last episode. Uh, I... I showed the salted stuff so i'm going to start transitioning into salted stuff I, I don't know if there's salted baked potatoes let's go ahead and check that just double check in there's no like special pattern no it doesn't look like the salted baked potato um which should be a cool addition but it's not necessary okay we'll just lay these guys down and then oh yeah if we shift right click right then it locks it with a bare hand Cause then, cause then it, it always leaves one in so that we know what the barrel has in it. Nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and go back in here and I guess, cause I didn't, I didn't get. Every time I open this, I get scared. Holy crap! These regen fast, or at least they did. That's ridiculous. Okay, we'll grab all this. I want all of it. Nice. I really want this these bushes to expand some more, and then we'll, we'll have like a whole cave of it. Cause uh, I got a feeling experience is gonna start becoming very important to us. So I'm gonna put these guys away. Grab these. There we go. And see now, now we have a storage, and we can see exactly what we have there. Uh, and it's looking more and more like a pirate's place. Like I said, I don't think I want to do anything with this yet. Uh, these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and clean up my inventory. As you can see, you guys, uh, I made a, I made a big move recently, so we don't have uh, as much as the of the land discovered as I would like. So I think we're I'm gonna go out on a walk. I'll I'll fast forward it for you guys. I'll play some music over it. Oh hey, we got some more of this ore here. That's my bad. We'll go put that downstairs. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna go out for a walk. I'll just fast forward it for you guys in case I run into um, anything important, such as like lucky blocks or. Yeah, anything along those lines. Sorry, I just everything is like uh, kind of a mess right now, and I feel bad. But to be fair, that's why I installed this mod so that we can get a little bit more organized. Uh, we want to keep this shot on us. That's pretty important, actually. Uh, cause yeah, I, I want to get a little bit more organized now. It's it's a little bit hard to get organized with this stuff. Uh, there is there are other mods that like will let you organize chests by just clicking a button. So I think I'll I'll probably add that as well. Just so uh, cause we we're not gonna be storing everything in these because that would be a lot of barrels. But we'll we'll store some of the cooler stuff uh that we need. Like once we get like a, a significant amount of um. Uh, flax going and, and enough string I think we're going to uh, start putting that in barrels as well let's go ahead and sleep now bar the barrels I believe they work with hoppers as well and droppers and all that so we could probably set up a, an, in, uh, an instant flax farm which would be very cool for our uh, our pirate and then I can explain to you, to you guys how, how all that would work and stuff oh and I missed putting this down into this chest with the other ones now, I'm, like I said, I'm going to go out for a walk, uh, and then I will get a hold of you guys if I run into anything. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but there is coral added in with the Coad Masters or Code Masters um, Pirate Craft. Uh, it adds like the seaweed and it adds coral and I believe it drops like coral bits or bits of oh I think we have to use something like shears to pick it up but yeah it, it, I don't know that anything's been it's being used for anything right now but I think it's still pretty cool that it adds an element into the ocean uh, yeah I thought I just I just point that out to you guys uh, I'll continue adventuring
Okay, so I've run into a lucky block. I don't know if you saw. What does this tab do? Oh, that's part of Tinker's construct. Uh, but as you can see, I don't, I don't have uh, the tools necessary to do that. Like I don't have a chest to, to put all my things in and be safe and not lose all of our things. So we're gonna, I'm gonna run home real quick. We'll be right back out here. But when I get home, I do want to show you guys one more thing um, before we head back and open up the lucky bar. Okay, now that we're home, uh, I would like to just grab these guys, and I think we're gonna go ahead and do this, and then I'll just grab a few of these. Um, there we go. That should be good for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw our potatoes in the oven. If you guys didn't notice, I did plunder the village again and, and steal a bunch of, or I mean, uh, mm, no, I can say steal because we're pirates. I, I took a bunch of stuff that wasn't ours, but you know what? We're polite pirates, so I definitely did replant everything so that next time we go over there, we can steal more. Um, did I say that out loud? Uh, what? Uh -huh. No, what? Anyway, let's go ahead and drop off the things that we're not going to be using. Uh, I like the bones. Uh, we'll leave the arrows. We'll leave this. Okay, now the other thing I want to show you is it is becoming nighttime, so I'm gonna sleep, and then um, I want to show you. I want to show you something. It was an idea that that I had a little bit ago. Uh, I I've done it in a series before, back when I used to live stream. Uh, I built a pirate ship, uh, and it was something that I did, and I, I really liked it. I thought it was pretty funny. So we're gonna do it here as well. So I grab this, and we're gonna need some wood. We're going to need a lot of wood because we're going to make two chests. There's not enough wood. We're going to make two chests. We're going to make one for... Ah, uh, come on. We're going to make one for that lucky block and one for uh, what I'm going to do. So one, two chests. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and go outside now because it's light out. Uh, we're going to go back to the back of the house. <coughs> and then we're going to go over to this flat area over here. Um, you can see it up on our mini map up in the top right corner. There's like this huge area over here, right? And then we're just going to go ahead and uh, take this. Nope, not that. I don't want that one dug up. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Actually, you know, that'll be fine. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and do this. And this and this and this. That one there. Okay. Now... I couldn't find any more nether rack, which is what we're going to use here. I'll just do this. So I'm going to just leave the chest open in the middle like that. And then we're going to go ahead and, 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 and kind of do this. Right, we'll put some in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, you got to take a little bit out, right? And then we'll take a little, put a little bones in there. And then when we, you know, we run away. If you look on the mini map, I don't know if you can see it. If we make it a little bigger, look at look to our left right now. It's kind of hard to see still. Ready? Boom, boom. We got an X. An X marks the spot. Get it? We're pirates. So yeah. So now we have like a little place to put our buried treasure because obviously emeralds are not super important at least right now. And if they are, we obviously have it out in the backyard. It's not a big deal. And then the gold nuggets are not super, you know, super cost worthy. Like we're not like worried about having those extra gold nuggets. And if we are, we'll always be able to go back out. I would put like diamonds out there, like our beacon, but we're gonna want to use those eventually. So I decided not to. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and go over to that lucky block again. I believe it was up. Oh, crap. It was here, right? Oh, I found it. Look at that. You can see it on the map. This is uh, the Map Writers mod, by the way. If you guys don't know it, it is one of the best map mods that I know. Um, and it works for like servers and stuff, too, because it's a client-side mod. So you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, I don't know if I ever put a link for it in a description of one of my videos. So I'll go ahead and do that in this one as well for you all. Oh, hey, some rotten flesh. Maybe I'll install a mod that, that we can work with rotten flesh with. Because that'd be nice too. I know I keep talking about like awesome mods. But it, the more we add, the, the more awesome the series is going to be. Um, 
but don't worry, I'm not gonna clutter it up. I, I do like I do like functionality along with simplicity. So I would not worry about about uh, me ruining it with like way too many mods that just make it super OP OP. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop everything in here. Like I'm talking everything except for this torch. I want this torch. It's our safety torch. Now if you get that reference, congrats because this is Tobuscus reference, I believe. Um, so we'll take our one safety torch. And we're going to go ahead and break this lucky block. These couple of lucky blocks. Right, okay, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to run. Right. Oh, what do we get? <gasps> pumpkins! Okay, I don't know what we're going to do with pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns yet. We'll do this, though. And we'll walk over to the... We'll walk over to, um... To the chest that we just had. If we can find it with this thing on. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'll take it off. <laughs> Dump those guys in there. And now let's go ahead and do the other lucky block. We'll, we'll grab this nether rack, by the way, on our way back so that we can f make the X a little bit bigger so we can see it on the map a little bit better. Come on, torch. Don't fail us now. Huh. Oh, what? What is this? <gasps> Holy crap. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, so we have some awesome, we have some awesome new new stuff. We're gonna go ahead and drop this too, and we have, and we're then we're gonna open up this other lucky block because we can't just leave one, right? I mean that seems unfair. And we'll grab a, a couple potatoes so that we can eat up. But holy crap, we have some more awesome treasure now. Ow! So we can put some more stuff in the chest. I think we'll put our golden apples out there too. I, I don't really see us using them. Anytime soon. Oh yeah, I was gonna grab a couple of these potatoes. Boom, boom. And we'll open up the last lucky block here. We'll just do it down here. Uh oh. <gasps> we gotta get up there. We gotta get up there. Um, did I bring blocks? Did I did I bring like did I bring that sand? I don't remember. But anyway, it's our last one, so it doesn't matter. We can put on our clothes. Oh, we can just go up there with a the water bucket. Okay, awesome. Because we need that diamond. Uh, we'll get up with our water bucket. We have the diamonds. Everything, everything. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Okay, and then I'm not gonna worry about reorganizing the inventory right now. We'll just get over there really quick. Let me punch this chest first, I guess. And we'll get over there. This is awesome. This is absolutely amazing. We got, we got all lucky ones so far. I'm just so afraid for, like, mean ones that it's ridiculous. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to get up higher. No, 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 no. There we go. Now we'll be able to get up on top and just go down. There we go. I don't know why I'm grabbing these colors. Maybe uh, maybe we'll use them for something. Maybe we won't. Okay, and then I'll see you guys when I'm back home and uh, put everything away. Oh, you know what? I did not grab the nether wreck. I think we'll be okay for now um, because I kind of want to replace it with this clay. The red stained clay, once we get more of the clay, obviously. Let's go ahead and dump these guys in here. I know you guys know where my buried, buried treasure is, but we're all part of a crew. We're all together, so uh, I think it's okay. None of you better betray me. Uh, because the last crew that betrayed me, uh, we're getting revenge on right now. And I would hate to have to add any of you to the list. Oh yeah, I wanted to leave the golden apples out here too. Because golden apples are super valuable. Boom, boom. Nice. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. The, uh, for watching. Thank you. I should say thank you, my mateys, for enjoying another episode. Uh, if you guys, if you guys did enjoy it, uh, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and maybe catch up on the uh, the episodes that you have missed already uh yeah and I, I explain a couple other mods and stuff and uh i just i have a lot of fun with this every time i play it um there has not been a dull moment in one of them for me um yeah and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys later